He central bank determines the percentage of fees charged to banks. February 18, 2020. The Central Bank of Iraq, on Tuesday, directed banks and financial institutions to commit to meeting the commissions prescribed by its transactions. The bank said in a statement received by Eye of Iraq News that all banks and financial institutions have an obligation to fulfill the commissions previously determined by their transactions, which are as follows. 1. Purchase commission through points of sale, free of charge. 2. Cash withdrawal commission through points of sale, 0.006 of the amount, a minimum 2,000 Iraqi dinars, or 6,000 dinars per 1 million Iraqi dinars, and if the amount of 333,000 dinars is withdrawn or less, then the lowest commission applies and amounts to 2,000 Iraqi dinars. 3. Cash withdrawal commission through the ADM, 0.004 of the withdrawn amount, the lowest commission, 1,000 Iraqi dinars, that is 4,000 Iraqi dinars per 1 million dinars, and in the event of withdrawing an amount of 250, 000 Iraqi dinars or less applied the lowest commission is 1,000 Iraqi dinars. The central bank organizes a lecture in Mosul on financial inclusion. February 18, 2020. The central bank of Iraq the Mosul branch organized a meeting with government and private banks in Nineveh Governorate and the Association of Private Banks as well as electronic payment companies on February 10, 20, 20 inches. The meeting included a lecture to promote the concept of financial inclusion, ADM and post deployment mechanisms, updates to localization statistical indicators, RTGS and ACH system stats. The Central Bank of Iraq Information Office. Sources, Alawi completed his cabinet and his government program February 18, 2020. Baghdad, Al Furat News well informed political sources reported that the Prime Minister designate Muhammad Tawfiq Alawi had completed his cabinet and his government program. This news comes with a meeting held today evening Tuesday in the House of Speaker of Parliament Muhammad al Halbausi, in the presence of the National Forces Alliance, all Kurdish parties, and Shiite blocs to come out with a unified position from Malawi's government and mechanisms to support him in forming an independent government whose mission is to restore the state's prestige and hold early elections in a positive atmosphere. It reflects the feeling of everyone about the depth of the current crisis and frank dialogues, according to Fatah MP Ahmed al Asadi, the representative of the al Hikma bloc, his son Fadid assured al Furat that Alawi's booth would pass by the majority of the blocs in the House of Representatives, pointing out that Alawi chose the names of his booth without the intervention of any bloc or party. While MP al Hikma, Abbas Sayyid Serout suggested to al Furat about setting an extraordinary session for the Council of Representatives, soon to pass a cabinet formation. The parliament is currently on a legislative holiday, but according to information, there will be a call to hold a session next Sunday to vote on the Alawi government, said terms. Report this ad and the representative of the Iraqi Forces Alliance, Rod al-Dalaki, said that the next 48 hours will be decisive in forming the government. Today, the delegation of the Kurdish parties from the Kurdistan region arrived in Baghdad to negotiate and debate on the new government. The Kurdish delegation, headed by Hashir Zabari, leader of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, includes members of the National Union, the Change Movement, the Kurdistan Islamic Union and the Islamic Group. We, the Kurds, insist that the Kurdistan region and the Kurdish parties take charge of identifying the Kurdish ministers in Alawi's booth, and the Sunnis have the same direction we go, while the Shiites go to selecting independent ministers," said Kurdish delegate Salim Shushki in a press statement. It is mentioned that the Prime Minister, designate Mohammad Tawfiq Alawi said last Saturday that he approached the historic achievement represented in completing an independent ministerial cabinet of the competent and impartial without the intervention of any political party, representatives and voting on them to start implementing the demands of the people. In the 1st of February, the president commissioned Baram Sali Alawi to form a government after two months after the acceptance of the resignation of his successor, Adel Abdul Mahdi and Al-Burl Manadhi.